today uh, session we are going to see about the post outcome code that is the elimination so last class uh, already we are seeing uh, what is eliminations and uh, what uh, and what uh, the basics of principle uh, the light is uh, working like that and uh, in last uh, class itself we have seen uh, so the light intro of the introductions of the last class uh, we can move to the next uh, topic in today's session and uh, last class itself we have seen what is the light in uh, lighting fundamentals there are uh, light light means lighting is towards two objectives of lighting designs so what are the two objectives are one is, is to provide the right quality of light and the quantity of light so these are the two objectives we have to focus on the fundamentals lighting so lighting fundamentals can be divided into two object two main objectives that is to provide the right quality of light and the right quantity of light so first if we see the light light quantity means light quantity is nothing but as amount of light which is provided on that particular area and which can easily measure which can easily measure and the unit of light is is three types that are watts lumens and foot candles most of the uh, main uh, units of the light uh, uh, incoming uh, is measured by watts consumption of uh, light that, uh, that is the um, uh, light uh, consumption is uh, unit is watts and output of the light we can measure by unit of the lumens and what is watts so watts is the unit for measuring the electrical power is a unit for measuring the electrical power which is giving a, as a input to the light uh, otherwise it can be defined as a rate of energy consumption by an electrical device when is in operation so the amount of watts which consumed uh, represent the electrical input to the light and what is can you say what is a lumens lumens is nothing but amount. it's the output of the lamp is measured in lumens the output of the lamp is measured by a unit of lumens so the amount of lumens can also be used to describe as the output of the entire uh, fluctuations that is the compromising several lamps thus the number of lumens describes how much light is being produced by light and the third unit is the foot candles so foot candles is nothing but how much of light is actually rising on the work plane so uh, the light focus or the, the light uh, illuminates on the work uh, plane Uh, can be measured only by the foot candles and uh, the illumination engineering society ies ies standard that is the illumination engineering society fix the light levels in terms of only foot candles not in watts or not in lumens so foot candles are the end result of watts that is being converted to lumens and you can measure the amount of food candies with the a light meter a yeah, light meter you can measure in that particular work plane uh, with that meter you can measure the uh, in terms of food candies food candies uh, are the measure amount of the light which uh, dissipate on that particular work plane so where the task where the task is performed then what is efficiency efficiency is nothing but uh, is a term which is used to be for the light uh, so uh, if you see some other uh, equipment electrical equipments uh, such as uh, motors and uh, the previously pump in the uh, post of pump 3 in all topic uh, in energy auditing what we are focusing is to improve the energy efficiency so efficiency in light uh, it is uh, to uh, Uh, pronounced as efficiency so efficiency is nothing but it is similar to that of the efficiency efficiency which is described as efficiency is nothing but output by input ratio here what is the output output is the lumens per watts and what is the input the particular energy consumed by that equipment so efficiency is nothing but amount of lumens per watts from a particular energy source so this lighting technology is that high is the lamp which greater uh, wattage provide uh, more lights 
and uh, however the light sources with a high efficiency has more light with the same amount of power as per the ieas recommended uh, recommended the light levels light levels that is the illuminating engineering society ieas is the largest organized group of lighting professionals in the united state which fix the light levels in which area uh, in which building or in which industries how much of light level uh, should uh, take as a visual task and the ieas only prescribed the approximate light level for that particular year so lighting professionals lighting professionals apply the philosophy that is the more light is better more light is better they fix uh, this as a uh, mantra squad as more light is better and the light level recommendations as per the ieas generally uh, until the 1970 so recently found what uh, the ias state uh, say, said that the occupants comfort decreases when a space has too much of lights a minimum space is too much of lights then automatically the workers uh, in that particular area uh, is affected by the uh, non uh, the level of productivity was decreasing in that particular area the productivity was decreasing due to the poor visual comfort or high level of uh, light in that particular so some of the experiment have been conducted and uh, it have been observed by the ies standard so according to that uh, result of the experiment they have confirmed that the excessive light level uh, will surely affect the workers productivity and which decreases uh, due to the poor visual comfort also so due to these findings the ieas has revised their handbook and reduced the recommended light levels for many tasks and must avoid the over illuminating in the, uh, the so the, according to the ieas and the light designers wherever they use to provide the lighting in a particular area must avoid over uh, illuminating level in that particular space so the recommended some of the ieas recommended light levels have been given which is already discussed in the last class also how much of commercial uh, interiors interiors lights should be displayed and how much of institutional institutes uh, such as an auditorium like that how, uh, how much of, for example the food candy is level for auditorium of an institutional uh, interiors are 15 to 30 they are prescribed the ieas has prescribed and um, here they have suggested the industrial interiors and the uh, exteriors the exteriors building security is under the flood lighting levels and parking levels like that in all aspects they the ieas have given them some of the guidelines and what uh, range the food candies level should be uh, follows and uh, next is the light quality light quality is nothing but uh, the attitude and the performance of the occupants so according to this uh, uh, quality different moods can be created different moods can be created by the lighting system so the occupants can be influenced to work more efficiently if their environment uh, that promotes a work like atmosphere so the goal of the lighting designer must focus approximately on the quality of lighting for a particular task and the employees comfort and the uh, performance are worth more than the energy save so we uh, though uh, we concentrate on energy saving uh, when compared to energy saving the employees comfort and their performance is more so we have to give uh, importance to the employee comfort uh, comforts and performance than that of the energy savings so the cost of the energy for lighting is relatively uh, small compared to the cost of labor so for the improvement of the lighting quality can yield a high dividends or business because again it worker productivity so a good energy manager should remember that building were not designed to save energy that uh, exits the environment where people can work efficiently and the lighting quality is divided into four main considerations that is the 
first one is the uniform engine, second one is the glare, and third one is the color rendering index, and fourth is the coordinational color temperature. So, uh, regarding uniformity, the uniformity describes how evenly the light is spread in that particular area. So, a yeah, creating uniform illuminations provides by a yeah, proper fixing space. By proper fixing facing of the light gives the uniform illumination and the non-uniform illumination creates bright and dark spots which can cause the discomforts for same occupants. So a uniform lighting appliance over a large area can waste large amount of energy. So a uniform illumination should be applied to a particular task. And next the second topic is the Glare. Glare is nothing but it is a sensation caused by the relatively bright object uh, to an occupant field of view. So the key word is relatively because glare is more uh, probable where the bright objects are located in front of the dark environment, which gives a glare. So for example, if it takes a car high beam highlights, which causes a glare to the uh, oncoming uh, drivers at night. So this is called as the glare and yet create a little come discomfortable during the uh, daytime. So a contrast in the relationships between the object and its backgrounds. And next one is the visual comfort property. So the visual uh, comfort property is nothing but is the rate given to the pictures, pictures which indicates the percentage of people who are comfortably with the glare. The people who are comfortably with the glare. So thus if fixtures that is the VCP is maintained equal to 80 means that the 80 percentage of the occupants are comfortable with the light of glare in that particular fixation of light. So a minimum of VCP is 70 is recommended for general interior spaces and if the fixtures which VCP exceeding 80 are recommended in the computer area uh, for that particular environment and uh, the next one is the VDT, VDT. so VDT is nothing but a VDT is nothing but a it's an environment which contains a uh, varieties of special visual tasks including the use of computer monitoring or visual displays terminals that is the VDT so the occupants using VDTs are extremely vulnerable to glare and discomfort so the reflections by this uh, light on the ceiling lights are visible on the VDT screens and occupants have difficult screening of the uh, readings while reading the screens. This phenomenon is called as the discomfort glare in the particular room that are uniformly illuminated by the fixtures. And next is the color. Color consideration is very important factor for the light quality and the light sources, light sources are specifically based on the two color relational parameter and first one is the by color rendering index and the next one is the coordinator color temperature. So CRI, CRI provides an evolution of how color appears under the light sources this gives so the index range of the color uh, will fix from 0 to 100 the higher the number easy to distinguish the color so if the cri is greater than 75 it will provide uh, an excellent color rendering and the source which is less than 55 is um, uh, mentioned as a, a poor color rendering and uh, very high CRI will be used for a visual task that require the occupant to distribute the colors. So and uh, the last topic is the uh, light fundamentals is the CCT. So the CCT is nothing but uh, the CCT is a coordinating color temperature which describes the color of the light source. So on a clear day the sun appears yellow. Uh, on a cloudy day, the sun appears to be grey. So, according to these conditions, the CCD is not related to CRI, CRI but it can influence the atmospheres of the room. So, a cool white lamp which has a CCD of 4100K. However, a more uh, recent trends have been uh, added to this. Try 
cosper uh, lamps and the next topic we can uh, see the lighting system components in the next class